In this video, I want to tackle a misconception which often arises with double inequalities. Now, a double inequality is used to represent a region that is between two values. Okay? And when we talk about regions on a number line, um, we say that each region must have one inequality that represents it, even if it's a double inequality. Okay, that is still considered one single inequality region. So one region, one inequality. Okay, and that's the only way you can describe each one. So if I want a between like that, it could be something like 2 is less than x is less than 5, or minus 3 is less than or equal to x is less than 2, or minus 8 is less than x is less than or equal to 0, or 7 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 9. Okay? And it has to be one of these four. Now, do you notice what's similar about all these four? Well, all of them have the x in the middle, of course, but also all of the inequality symbols are pointing the same way. They are all either less than or less than or equal to. Okay? And they have to be written that way. Now, why do they have to be written that way? Well, that's because it doesn't really make sense for the other ways of writing them. Okay? So let's go through some possible variations. Now, a number of students uh, think, OK, well, I could write that one as 5 is greater than x is greater than 2. Now, by rights, there is really nothing wrong with this statement. Um, 5 is certainly greater than 2. Um, and essentially, it says the same thing, right? x is greater than 2, uh, and x is less than 5. However, we don't write a number line where 5 is to the left of 2. OK? We don't write that. Um, so when you write down an inequality, you should always have it, the numbers written in order, OK? As, you would have, as they would appear on a number line. OK? So we don't ever write that. So that's that one out. So we're not going to have greater thans. If you had something like, um, let's say, 2 uh, is greater than x is less than 5, what does that mean? Well, there are, the problem is that there are different ways of interpreting it. Right, let's try it out. x is less than 2. OK, so that'd be that region. And x is less than 5. OK, so that would be that region. OK, so essentially it's describing a portion of the graph that is unneeded. Um, this 2 to 5. Uh, because that's the only region that is satisfied by both. And it's got to be satisfied by both. Um, but also, there is some ambiguity here. Because are you saying that 2 is greater than 5? You know, you could also say, well, it says 2 is less than 5. But I could also argue it says 2 is greater than 5, which obviously doesn't make any sense. Uh, so... There is a problem with the symbols being that way around. And it's ambiguous. And consequently, we don't do that either. OK? So you don't want to mix, and you don't want greater thans. You only ever want to use less than or less than or equal to with double inequalities like this to represent a region between two values. OK, so you want that and that, 
or that and that, or that and that, or that and that. Okay? And they're the only ones that you want to work with. 